Good morning, good morning, kings and queens. This is Beyond the Walls Ministry, and I'm your minister, TJ Beattie. This morning, our scripture will be coming from 1 John chapter 3, starting at verse 1. See how very much our Father loves us, for He calls us His children, and that is what we are. But the people who believe, who belong to this world, don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know. I just want you to start out today and remind you that you are somebody, that you have purpose on this earth, in this world, that you need to remember that, that God calls you His very children. He calls you his children. You know that when and when any father, just think about you yourself. If you are a man out today, if you are a father, even think about if you are a mother. When you when you say that these are your children, there's a different relationship. There's a different bond. There's a different connection. There's there's a difference uh, in what you would do for the person because these are your children. When you know that these are your children, there's a different uh, sincerity that you have for them. There's a different level of emotion that you that's connected with them. There's a different uh, bond of protection that you, you bear for them. Because these are your children. You have to know that in, the, in our Father, Jesus Christ, is that you are his children. Know that he will protect you. Know that he will provide for you. Know that he will cover you. Know that he will open doors for you. Know that he will go from, 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 from sea to sea for you. Know that no matter what your situation is, that, that if you're sick, that God will heal you. Know that if you need a job, that God will make a way for you. Know that God will increase your finances because you are his children. God is going to do everything he possibly can because he, he is, because you're his children. Somebody on today may be thinking about quitting, may be thinking about giving up. They just be thinking because times may be tough for them. They may just not, they not know what to do, but when you know that who is your father, when you know that Jesus Christ is your father, see a lot of times we as individuals, we start to attend, we start to put, put a lot on our earthly father. Yes, our earthly fathers have been, been uh, given to us to protect us and do these things that they can, but they can only do so much, but the God that we serve. The Father of Fathers, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He can do all things. He wants us to trust in Him always. He wants us to lean on Him always. He wants us to call on Him always. That should not be our first notion. Our mind should trigger right there in every situation, in every moment that I need to call on Jesus. Because you have to know that there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in faith. There is power in believing. There is power in His healing. There is power in all things that He can do. We have to know that. He says that, he says, see how very much our Father loves us, for He calls His children. You have to know that He loves you a lot. He loves you so much that He even sent His, his Son, Jesus, to die for our sins. He, he, you have to know that He loves you. And that, that if He loves you, you have to know that your life will be prosperous. You have to know that, that God will, will, will carry you throughout the day in, in, in your life. Because he loves you. See, when someone loves you, they do all they can for you. They go all out for you. If the love that you're experiencing is not the love of Christ, then that is not love. That may be lust. That may be uh, some tricklings or inklings of what that love could be like. But when you're truly connected with the Father, His love is like no other. His love is, is, is one that can't be satisfied here in the world. His love never dies. His love... Is everlasting. It says, now in verse 2, it says, Dear friends, we already know God. It says, Dear friend, we are already God's children. But He has not yet shown us uh, what we will be like when Christ appears. But we do know that we will be like Him. For we will, for, for we will see Him as He really is. And all who have the eager expectation will keep themselves pure just as He is pure. This is amazing. This is amazing. But let's let's back up just a little bit. It says, but the people who belong to this world don't recognize him. Don't, don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know him. You have to understand that that, that, that people you say, man, how can people treat me this way when I'm a child of God? You have to know they're not they're not connected. 
You have to know that it, it's not personal, but it's spiritual. That they're, they're connected to the things of the world. That their vision, their eyelids are not open to what God would have them to be open because they are, they're blind. Because they're, they're living a life of sin. They're living a life of Satan. The, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But that's what he's doing. He's killing their dreams. He's stealing their hope. And he's destroying everything about their life. So right now, they're, they're lost. But it is up to you to be the example, to be the expectation, to live his life, to, to walk in their life, to, to love, to, to, to be that example daily. When you do those things, when you love on people, when you forgive people, when you be the example, when you when you be that uh, 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 the imitation, that light, that bright and shining light of Christ, then people begin to know him. They begin to see his, see his realness through you. Because sometimes you may be the only book, the only Bible that people may see. Then again, in verse 3, it says, and it says, it says uh, verse 2 says, Dear friends, we are already God's children. But he has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appears. So you see, we're in this, in this, in this world. We're, we're only getting a, 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 let me say, a, a sample of how great it will be in heaven. Of how great things will be. If you can see how good God will be just in this world, in this world that we live in, the things that you go through, if you can see how good God is in this world, then that ought to motivate you and encourage you. That ought to put you on, on fire for, for being more for Him or doing more for Him so that when this world ends, so that you will be able to be able to marvel in His glory in the next world to come. You'll be able to see what it is truly to be like Him. You'll be able to stand in His glory and His presence and see His realness. See, right now, you only get a chance to see the examples, the sprinkles of his blessings. But to live and be in his glory, his glory in his forever. It says, but we do not know. But we do not know that we will be like him. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> we do not know that we will be like him. <laughs> For we will see him as he really is. And all who have the eager expectation will keep himself pure. Just as he is pure. See, if you have this expectation, look, this, look at that right there, verse 3. It says that all who have this eager expectation to be like him. To walk in his glory. To see him as who he really is. It says all who have this eager expectation. You get this expectation. From the life that you live From being in his word To, to understanding his power To operating in his in, in, in his fullness On a day to day basis To being that example Your expectations rise Because you see how great God is You see the things that he does for you in your life There's an expectation I want to be like him I want to be in his glory I want to be in his presence I want to be there I don't want to always be in this world I don't want to live in this dying world I don't want to be have to be, uh, be amongst the things that, that Satan will be doing I'm winning this world in. I don't want to be in the fire. I want to be in the lake of fire. I want to be with God. I want to be in His in His glory. I want to be in His marvelousness. I want to be in His awesomeness. I want to be in the engulfed in that joy and in that pureness and in that love. I want to be where there's gonna always be a peace of mind, that comfort. I want to be in that place. So that expectation, that eager expectation, build. It says, and all who have this eager expectation will keep themselves pure. How do I keep myself pure? This is just as he is pure. How do I keep myself pure? Now I live a righteous life. I have to understand righteousness. I have to understand that, that I can't treat people the way I want to be treated. That, that I want to, the way I want to treat them. I have to treat them just the way that God would have me, want me to treat them. I have to be his example. I have to respond to situations the right way. I can't just bust off and cuss out people because people, people, people are out. I let no evil, no, no perverse things come from my, from my name. I, I, I have to forgive people. I can't say that, hey, when they do me wrong, I just have to keep on holding on to it. I have to forgive them just as God forgives me. I, I, I have an expectation. When I have these expectations, I live a certain way. I walk a certain way. I carry myself a certain way. I respond to things in a certain way. Yeah, I, I encourage you on today to come closer to Christ, to get your life right with Him on today, so that you can walk with Him, so that you can see Him, so you can live a life filled with His marvelousness, in His glory, in His power. I encourage you on today 
Because you out there you've been struggling. You've been falling by the wayside. You've been living a life that you that's not pleasing to Christ. Today is your day. Today is your opportunity right now. Just to say this prayer with me. Dear God, you are my father and I'm your child. I believe that the Son Jesus Christ. He died and rose the third day with all power in his hand. My Father, I want to be more like you, Lord. Forgive me on today. I want my walk to be made plain. I want to live righteous for you. I believe you said that prayer on today. The fervency in your heart that you truly believe that, that you've been saved on today. That your life will be made plain on today. That you will have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to walk in his purity. There may be somebody on today that may be struggling. They may be saved, but they're just going through some things. Maybe a family member, maybe a friend that you may know. We want to pray with you all this day. Most gracious eternal Father God, we love you on today, God. We recognize you as our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords, God. God, we understand who you are, God. We know that you have all power in your hand. God, we know that you can do anything but fear, God. God, we know that you love us on today, God. God, we know there's no love like the love that you have for us. We seek you on today, God. We want to be more like you on today, God. We want our day to be awesome on today.